to come. Since the retirement of the last Royal Air Force WE-177 nuclear bomb in 1998, the British nuclear arsenal has been wholly submarine-based. It is intended to deter a potential enemy because they cannot ensure eliminating the entire stockpile in a first strike if a ballistic missile submarine remains undetected. The boats will carry the UK's nuclear deterrent and be the biggest, most powerful and technically advanced submarines ever delivered Since to the, the Royal Navy. Since the Strategic Defense Review, the UK has maintained a stockpile of around 250 warheads, here at with around 120 active users. Under the who are working together to continuous at sea deterrence policy, we are at least one Vanguard-class SSBM is kept on patrol with up to 16 Triton missiles sharing up to 48 warheads from the stockpile at any given time. Attending today's ceremony, Defense Procurement Minister Alex Chuck KC said. Our nuclear Since 1998, the system has also provided the government with the option of a lower yield, sub-strategic nuclear strike capability. Our national security. Under both the Strategic Defense and Security Review 2010 and the Strategic program, Defense and Security Review 2015, the total the number of warheads for the submarine on patrol will be 40 and the maximum total number of ballistic missiles will be 8. The Royal Navy operates the continuous at sea deterrent in which one of four nuclear armed submarines is always out on patrol, ready to strike in the unlikely event the UK faces a nuclear attack or other extreme military crisis.